Western Theater Traditions In the early 1400s, the Japanese were performing a very stylized and graceful form of theater called No Theater. No has elements of opera, pantomime, and stylized dance. The first No performances were shared with the general public by Zimi, a 50-year-old actor-playwright who was one of the most outstanding No performers to have ever lived, and who wrote over a hundred No plays. In the dramas, the main character is always played by a man, who wears a beautiful carved hand-painted mask. He performs to the constant accompaniment of several on-stage musicians. Most No plays are spiritual in nature, having a ghost, demon, or obsessed human whose soul cannot find rest as the main character. Actors in No troops train for their profession for many years. From the time they are very young children, they train to become one of the three main roles in No. These are the slite or main character, the waki, or narrator, and the sure, or accompanying role. These actors perform on a raised platform stage with a floor of polished wood. This stage is connected to the actors' dressing rooms by a long wooden walkway, with the audience viewing from three sides. Kabuki, another Japanese theater form, developed in the early and mid-17th century and is still being performed today. The Kabuki plays were based upon the plays written earlier in that country for their very popular puppet theaters called Bunraku and from the No plays. Most of these were based upon history or folklore, especially ghost stories. Like the No actors, the Kabuki actors trained from childhood in singing, dancing, acting, and acrobatics. Many of these actors inherited a character type from their fathers, who were famous actors before them. The Anagata were male actors who specialized in playing the female roles. These actors were famous for their ability to imitate the essence of feminine personality through the use of stylized poses and gestures. A major difference between no actors and kabuki actors is that no actors always wear masks, while kabuki actors create their characters' facial features with highly stylized stage makeup. The kabuki stage is rather like our common American proscenium stage of today. The audience faces the playing space from only one side, watching the action through a proscenium, picture frame opening. The kabuki stage, however, is rather long and has a much lower proscenium opening than most of our theaters today. A unique kabuki staging feature is the presence of a hanamichi, which means flower way. A hanamichi is a walkway that connects the stage with the back of the auditorium. This walkway is used for many characters' entrances and exits, as well as for the performance of short scenes. The configuration of the acting space remains the same. But the plays, unlike No, are usually staged with elaborate sets and props. Kabuki, like No, is usually accompanied by an orchestra that plays music to enhance the dialogue. Unlike No, however, the Kabuki musicians are sometimes hidden from the audience's view. The Indian people have a much older theatrical tradition in their Sanskrit drama, which dates from approximately 100 AD. About 25 of these plays remain. These are all based upon stories found in the Mahabharata or the Ramayana, two great epic writings which are compounds of myth, history, and legend. These dramas, which all end happily, are different from Western plays in that instead of being based upon the action and reactions of characters or the examination of thematic issues, the central goal of Sanskrit drama is the creation of an appropriate rasa or mood. This places the focus in Sanskrit drama squarely on the actor who uses movement and a set style of hand gestures to communicate meaning, rather like sign language functions today. In keeping with this style of communication, there is very little scenery in Sanskrit presentations. One of the most famous Sanskrit plays, The Little Clay Cart, is a social play that features a set of young lovers who struggle to be together. This is common in Sanskrit dramas, as good and evil in these plays are clearly defined, and good always eventually wins. In China, there are very few records of theatrical activity until about 1500 BC. No great dramatic literature was created until the 13th century AD. Because of the nation's vast size, many regional forms of theater developed around the country. Early plays were drawn from all sorts of subject matter, ranging from current events to histories and legends, containing characters from all walks of life. Thematically, the plays usually upheld the idea of loyalty to family, friends, and country, and showed that justice eventually was served. 
In 1790, on the Emperor Chu En Lung's 18th birthday, performers from all over the country were brought to Beijing to perform in a huge celebration. Many of these performers remained in the city and established a new form of theater, which focused upon the performer and acting style rather than text. This new highly stylized performance mode was called the Beijing Opera and remains the dominant style of theater in China. These performers believe that a text or play is merely an outline for a performance. Acting is dance-like in Beijing Opera, with each movement set to a steady rhythm established by the leader of the onstage orchestra who plays a drum. Each line of dialogue is accompanied by a movement or gesture intended to enhance or explain its exact meaning to the audience. Costumes are ornate and utilize color symbolically to indicate many facts about the character's class, status, occupation, and temperament. The traditional Chinese stage is modeled on the shape of the covered porches of the temples where the earliest of the dramas were performed. They are simple platforms with an ornate roof supported by four lacquered columns. Many of these early stages were located in tea houses where the audience watched the performances while seated at small tables located in front of the stage. On the stage is little more than a carpet, sometimes a table and a few chairs. Openings in the curtain that hang at the rear of the stage provide the only entrances and exits.